The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Because there actually is something going on, and it's frightening. It's absolutely terrifying, and uh, we'll have to figure out, we'll have to get to the bottom of it. So as you guys know, most of you guys know, I made a video maybe a few months ago uh, with the question, it was just a question, is Super a scam? Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? what's good everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for listening lockout men here and in today's episode man we're going to talk about these blackout companies that's trying to shut us down it's trying to shut us down they're trying to change their image from the god-awful image that they got out there on the internet now let me explain something to you right a lot of you guys come over to the channel and y'all share y'all wild crazy horror stories with these various black op companies that's out here majority of them are from chicago one in particular that will be named nameless is on the top of that tier list and we have a gang of drivers that has came over to the channel and shared their experience now you got to understand something this is their experience whether they only been with them for a week two weeks a month three months six months nine months a year year and a half whatever whatever during that time while they was there at the company something along the line have changed from when they first started to now when they are in their words disgruntled now let me explain something right when you mess with someone's money playing with my money is like playing with my emotions wow. that's going to change the whole dynamic of the relationship period period because I feel that if I sign a contract that says I deliver loads for you somewhere down the line at the end of the week, I should get paid for it. I shouldn't get half paid. I shouldn't get a quarter pay. I should get all the pay for all my for all deliveries done. There should not be no excuse to why the driver should not get paid in the matter. I don't understand that. If I do the job, I agree to that amount of money. That's the amount of money that I'm looking to get. There shouldn't be no underhand, no underline, no sneak attacks, no back room, no come behind the no no small print or nothing like that. It's in black and white. It's gray. It's not even a gray area. It's all in black and white. I do this, I get paid I get paid that. Period. <laughs> But now it seems as though that these black op companies is all over the internet. It's public knowledge. It is public knowledge that it's a gang of drivers that feel some kind of way about black ops companies. It's in Twitter feeds, it's in the Reddits, it's in the Facebooks, it's in the reviews, it's on the websites. Their own website says this, but somewhere down the line, it does that. It's all public knowledge now these same companies are trying to come after the creators of the youtube channels mine and a couple of others they're trying to come at us and trying to shut us down from showing all of the negativity that they have done publicly hold on hear the music People have a negative experience with, and a lot of times they share their experiences with the company on social media. Lots of times they share their experiences on YouTube, they share their experiences on TikTok, and overwhelmingly their experience was negative. But despite this, they reached out to me and they claimed that they were appreciative of my criticisms and my overall perspective of the trucking industry overall because they claim to also watch other videos on my channel a few moments later hey, i get a response and they were like oh we appreciate the feedback but we kindly ask you to remove the video 
from your channel because it paints us in a negative light somehow my video my eight to ten minute video paints their company in a negative light when there are dozens of other youtube videos out there that pretty much said the same thing that i said instead they insisted that i take the video down and i have seven days to do it or they're going to pursue legal action with 13. so i guess so just come take me out because it's all over so let's get into what's going on with because there actually is something going on and it's frightening it's absolutely fucking terrifying and uh, we'll have to figure out we'll have to get to the bottom of it so as you guys know most of you guys know i made a video maybe a few months ago with the question it was just a question is super a scam I, allegedly i have heard a lot of bad things about super e and those were the things that i had a problem with with super e and i wouldn't necessarily believe those things but i have heard that from nearly every person <clears throat> do i know them to be true nope it's the internet i could be making the whole fucking thing up but i have heard this over and over and over that was my problem with super e. and that's why i said this just may be a scam five minutes later super e sent me an email they'd like to meet with me so we can discuss these issues and and get to the bottom of it and get it figured out but that's not the real problem here. The problem is they want me to go to them, <laughs> to their terminal, and have a face-to-face -face sit down meeting with them. Are they out of their fucking minds? There's absolutely no way I'm doing that. Absolutely not. No fucking way that I'm doing that. A little longer than a few minutes later. Another email comes in. Hey, we saw your video still. We want to want you to come in and sit down with us, have a discussion. We'll figure it all out. <laughs> hold on what's going on guys i just want to stop the video right here right quick if you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing go ahead and hit that like button for me bro hit that like button it's free it's free if you made it this far into the video man make sure you hit that like button it's right up under the video man and if you guys like more content like this consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show we all know that this one particular company has a lawsuit that goes way back since 2020. We all know that this same company treats their drivers like crap, especially if they don't want to fall in line with their vision. We already know that they give the drivers that want to do it opportunities to run lights out. We know that it's public. But these same companies feel butthurt. These same companies trying to, to come on Instagram and say, hey, come with us. We opened up a new terminal in Florida, which they should have probably had a terminal open up in Florida because Florida is their main line. Good money coming in, bad money coming out. And they know that. They have stranded a few drivers down in Florida because they couldn't give them no good money coming out. I was talking to my motherfucking dispatcher earlier, right? Trying to get them to activate my damn fuel card. I mean, I'm going from truck stop to truck stop trying to get fuel. And every truck stop can't, like this is not on the block list. And my card is still not working. If it wasn't for my credit card, man, I would be fucked. But see, that's the advantage that they take on these drivers. These four month drivers that don't even know better. Here, we're going to give you $2,000 to go in. And those same drivers thinking they're going to get $2,000 coming out, but they know, no. Well, we can only get you a load that pays 50 cent a mile coming out, 60 cent a mile coming out. These same companies are trying to gain together and be like, oh, well, we don't like what you're saying. We don't like what you're putting out there. So now we're going to we're going to try and figure out some way into shutting you down. So now they're coming out saying some something like hey we're kind of upset because you you're, you're publicizing something that's already been public 
Oh, well, what's, what's going on? It's, it's what you just said. It's already public. There's plenty of videos. There's plenty of reviews. There's plenty of sites that talks negative or don't have it in a good light. We know that you don't have the drivers in the best interest. But now you, you want to come over here and try to shut us down? How are you going to get mad at us and everything is public? So now you're mad. You're butt hurt. You're, you're in your feelings because our channels on YouTube is one of the largest channels that speak to drivers that had, that had situations with you guys. So now you're over here crying about us talking to drivers that sharing their experience with us about situations that's dealing with previous companies and you crying about it you crying about information that's already out there publicly this is public it's public knowledge that these black op companies are so full of shit there are some good ones but there's a lot of bad ones that put drivers in financial despair Put them out on the road. Come and take their trucks from up under their noses. Put them in bad lease situations. Get them stranded in, in areas that they know that they're not going to make no money out of. It's public. But yet you're over here crying to us because we're, we're, we're getting the information that's already out there, out there. So what that said, what that said, there may be a little bit of tweaks and a little bit of changes here on the channel as far as mentioning said company's name. We're, we're probably might not mention it in a video. Of course, you guys already know when I say controversial company, you guys already know who I'm referring to. So I guess I don't have to mention their name or anything like that. But still, it proves to the fact that these companies are bad news. Now, there are some companies that are doing it good. Some drivers are making money. Same thing with same thing with said company. There's some drivers over there that's that's doing good over there. In a DM post that was sent over to me, one one of the recruiters from said company said that the only negativity comes from the people that only been there for like a couple of weeks. No, I, I talk to people that been there for months, even years, and they still had bad experience with said company. But he did make one good point though. He did say that the drivers that are making money and that are doing well and being successful, those are the ones that don't have time to come on a podcast, to come on the internet, to come on the website or video and say anything positive about the company. And I do agree with him in that assessment because there has been plenty of times when people get good reviews, the bad reviews outweighs the good. To every one good review, there is about five bad reviews that's out there. So the variance between the good and the bad is, is way up there for, for the bad side. There will be more people complaining about a company, about customer service, about any of anything that they feel that they've been wronged in. They'll complain about it more faster than the good stuff that happens. Somebody give you excellent customer service, somebody give you the best customer service, maybe only one person will go on there and review and say, hey, this company is a good company, yada, yada, yada. You can see it on the reviews for these trucking companies as well. Now, some of which you might have to take with a, with a grain of salt, and then you got to make the assessment for yourself. So let me just say this, me, Lockout Men, the host of the Lockout Men channel, I have no bias against any black ops companies that is out there. We either like them or don't like them. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. I already did my assessment on the company. I already got my feelings about the company. That's why I, I will speak highly. Listen, if you like the company and you want to give that company a chance, give that company the benefit of the doubt. By all means, be my guest. Go right of head. Give that company the benefit of the doubt. Give that company the opportunity to show you what they are. 
because you're not going to know if you're going to do well with that company if you don't get with that company to see what that company is about now after you have read the reviews the seen the videos read the websites and you still want to give that company a chance go right ahead that's the assessment on you not on me i'm not going to tell you yay or nay either way it goes i just appreciate the fact that you came over shared your story thank you very much i appreciate that so for these new drivers that's coming in especially for the four month driver because that's what they're looking for they're looking for you you should always do your research you should always have a list of questions that you need to ask you should always be diligent when you're talking to these recruiters and not let them talk you into something that you don't understand if you don't understand it stop the stop the process right there find out what it means and then come back and continue the process if you don't understand it ask drivers ask veteran drivers ask drivers that are owner operators ask drivers that are lease drivers see how they're doing over there and again take that with a grain of salt as well so if you got questions and these companies are not giving you the answers that you're looking for that's going to be a problem that's going to be a red flag that's going to be something that you're going to look out for you're going to have to look out for them if they can't answer the questions if they can't give you answers to your questions that you're asking them or they're trying to or they're trying to over talk you or or try to make you think something that is not that's a problem that's a red flag you're going to need to move on and you're going to need to keep studying first you need to ask why is the reason they're looking for four month drivers where at one point they require you to have at least a year or two to come in think about that and while you're thinking about that listen to my recorded voice about liking this video until next time everybody if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you would have none of y'all ship this video was brought to you my truck and a truck driver